Hey saddle hunters, thanks for tuning in to another video. In this video, I have the privilege of debuting to you a brand new saddle on the market from a brand new saddle company. This saddle is from Overwatch Outdoors. It's a company owned by Jamie Klein, who makes the Nader and the Suaders. This is a two panel saddle called the Transformer. It's a design that's totally new. We haven't seen anything like it before and it solves a lot of the so-called problems that guys experience with two panel saddles. I have really, really loved this saddle. So we're gonna jump in. I'm gonna show you a lot of its features and then I'm gonna talk you through how it works and some of my thoughts on it. But stay tuned guys, this is an exciting review. All right, saddle hunters, I want to show you some of the features of the Transformer saddle from Overwatch Outdoors. As we get started, I want to point out that this saddle is made in the USA. Every piece, every component of it is made right here. Jamie sews these saddles himself in the United States. Every component, every piece comes from the USA, so it's a 100% it's made American product. Gotta love that. As you can see, this is a two panel saddle. The unique thing about this two panel saddle is that the panels aren't built to overlap. They're meant to ride one on top of the other. So you can basically wear it and use it like a single panel or the panels separate and you can use it in a lot of different configurations as a two panel saddle. The unique design here is that it uses one inch webbing with these webbing adjust buckles to keep the saddles contained together and then to separate them. So if you wanna separate them, all you've gotta do is push down on that bottom panel, pull up on these and it slides right down. And you've got a lot of adjustment. You can really separate them a long way. You don't have to separate them. You can stop anywhere in between, but it's a really nice feature to retract them. Then all you have to do is pull down and they cinch right back together. So I'll show you that feature a little bit more in the tree, but that's an excellent design, guys. And in my opinion, it works really, really well. This saddle's got a lot of molly options on it. You can see right here on the waist belt, there's really tight molly webbing. I like that. It wraps around to create the lineman loops, which are, are skinny. They're nice and open. They sit right on the point of your hips. They're, they're pretty wide. So I like those as far as lineman loops go. When they come back around to the bottom of the top panel here, you have four more Molly webbing atop attachment options. So just a lot of flexibility as far as where you can put things and where you can put your pouches. And then on the bottom of the bottom panel, there's additional Molly, which is super nice for you guys that like to attach your stuff down low, but there's also these D-rings hooked on the bottom here. And these little plastic D-rings can be used for, for a lot of things. You could put your pull-up rope on there, or you can, if you're rappelling with like a guide ATC and you use an auto block for a third hand, you could connect that auto block right to there as opposed to your lineman's loop. So that's a nice feature. Or if you're a guy that likes to carry an extra couple carabiners, you can just clip your carabiners right on there and use them kind of as a gear hanger. So that's a really, really well thought out design in my opinion from Jamie. You can see as far as the frame of the saddle goes, you've got four wider pieces of webbing here that make the frame of the saddle. The top piece of webbing wraps through the D-ring on the other side and comes down and attaches and becomes the top of the bottom panel and vice versa here. The, this strap on the bottom is also the bottom strap of the bottom panel. I think that the Cordura combined with the wider webbing where you have four basically load supporting straps does a lot to, to make this saddle extremely, extremely comfortable. A lot of saddles just have a top strap and a bottom strap with nothing but fabric in between and you don't get a lot of support, but this saddle provides a ton of support for the user. The leg straps we'll look at when we flip those over, but they're attached right there on the bottom. They're non-removable. They're, they're an excellent design though. The uh, top of the leg straps attaches to this piece of webbing that runs through the body of the saddle right here. And then there's some buckles attached on the back side of that. And we'll see that when we flip it over. Let me flip it over now. You can see how the, the straps come together and go through that D-ring. They're bent D-rings from Fusion, I believe. They have a lot of functionality and I'll show you those when we get it on the tree. But if I flip this over, we'll talk about the bridge since it's right here in front of us. It's a rope bridge. It's an eight millimeter 
rescue tech line, which is just a fantastic rope. I will give you a length in the, right now on the screen, but it is attached on one side with a figure eight. And then on the other side, it uses Sterling TRC six millimeter presset cord to, to attach. The ends of all of these ropes are done with a shrink wrap, so they're done really, really well. There's a double overhand stopper knot on the end of the rope. Uh, this is a great bridge, guys. I'm, I'm coming to appreciate rope bridges more and more. Tons of adjustability. You can tighten it way, way down until it hits the knot, or you can let it out. So you can run as short or as long of a bridge as you would like. If we look here now, you can see here's the leg straps coming up from the bottom and they wrap around and they're connected with ADF Raptor buckles. These are one inch buckles. Every one of these buckles that's on this saddle has an 18 kilonewton rating in the looped configuration like you see it. These buckles are great. They only can go in one way. So there's hard to screw it up. They adjust very easily but they also stay tight, so they're, they're not gonna slip on you, which, which I really, really like. The waist buckle is sewn in at the top in a lot of different places, so it's very structurally sound. There's tri-glide adjustments on each side, so you can position it however long you want. This is a 60-inch belt, so plenty of adjustment for you bigger guys. Same style of buckle there on the front. Let me give you a little tip. I love the tri-glide on each side because when you walk in, you can cinch it down and it stays super, super tight. But if you want, when you get in the tree, you can just back the tag end of that out. And then if you're making adjustments while you're in the tree, it makes it a whole lot easier to adjust it. So that's just a, a tip for you. I like that tri-glide. I think it gives you a lot of customization when you're in the tree as far as comfort goes and how tight or loose or where you want the belt position. But it also allows you to secure it tight when you're walking in. So I think that's well thought out. So guys, that's kind of the Transformers uh, design in a nutshell and how it's laid out. Let me put it on the tree and we'll give you some of my thoughts about how to use it and, and what I think of it. Okay guys, we're gonna start off with the saddle here and I'm gonna show you how to put it on and how I found the best wear it into the woods. It's helpful if you grab both sides just behind the D-rings. This, this saddle's really nice because the panels don't slide side to side in the D-rings all that bad because they're connected together. So it makes managing it, even while you're putting it on, a lot easier than some of the other options that are out there. So you're just gonna grab it, tilt it downward, step through the bridge, pull it up and then you really don't have to worry about holding the holding the saddle all that much you can just reach behind and grab the waist belt this waist belt goes out to 60 inches so plenty of adjustment for for most everybody and if you needed to you could make some adjustments but I've already got it all set reach through grab your leg straps and then your leg straps easily connect just like that and what I would do next is just tighten my bridge down and, and tuck it in for the walk, just like that, and it holds those D-rings right in front of me. Now, you might say, oh man, there's a ton of potential for noise there because those D-rings ride real close to those leg straps, and you would be correct. So, what I've found to do for the walk-in, I'm just disconnecting those leg straps, and I'm running them behind my leg and clipping them in. You might have to tighten them down just just slightly when you tighten them down it pulls them more toward the back and keeps them on the side of your legs so now they're out of the way they're pretty far back out of the way of the d-rings and i'm ready for the walk in you can see it's very streamlined i'm going to turn around you can see this is probably the top of my hip right here so i've got it started sitting right at the top of my hip and then it doesn't even hang down below my butt, pretty much right to the, the bottom of my butt. But I can walk through the woods just fine. There's no sagging, there's no bunching. You can hardly even feel the saddle on the back of your legs there. So no pressure at all. It, it just wears in really, really well, guys. Just as good as, as any other saddle out there. And because the belt is built in and attached right underneath the top row of molly. When you put your pouch on, you don't get any sagging at all. So I'm gonna put a pouch on just so you guys can kind of see how that would wear. Like I said before, you wanna attach it 
Uh, maybe not in the first one right off the lineman belt, but that's pretty tight. One or two back just so it gets more support from the belt. Let me show you that now. So I've got a pouch on there. I just have a back band and my tether and my lineman belt in this pouch right now. And you can see I've got it on the first available Molly spot, but even there, it does not sag bad at all. Wears pretty well. If you wanted more support, you could go even further back, but I like it right there. That is, is pretty much right on the side of my hip, so it makes it easy to access. I know some guys have kind of limited mobility and things like that and don't want to reach way behind them to get to the pouch. That sits and settles really nicely, but it's also out of the way of the lineman boot belt loops. You can see they are, are forward on my hips, which I really like, and they're open. There's nothing to kind of get in the way. So when you take your carabiner and go to clip into that, it's just really, really easy. You can come from either direction and easy to get to. So let me jump onto the tree here and I'll show you guys a little bit about how you can use the transformer in multiple configurations in the tree. All right, saddle hunters, I'm tethered onto my platform. And I'm gonna show you a little bit about how you can use this saddle in a bunch of different configurations. So first thing I'm gonna do when I get up and I'm hooked up, I'm gonna take the back half of the, the waist belt out of that tri-glide. That just gives me the, the ability to adjust the waist belt tension very easily when I'm in the tree. And if you go between sitting and leaning, that's you want the ability to do that. So that's the first step I'm gonna do. I wanna show you to start off here how you could just use this like a normal single panel saddle. So I've got it pretty much right above my belt line right now. If I sit into it, I can lean into it just like I would most any other single panel saddle. I've got good support underneath my butt, very comfortable to lean in like this. I, I think it just, it's comfortable because if you noticed on the tabletop review, the top of the top panel has that curve to it. So between the curve and the distribution of weight that you get through the four wide straps makes this an incredibly comfortable saddle to lean in and to sit in. And in my experience, you don't get any hip pinch at all in, in this saddle. So that's really, really nice. So you can use it just like this as a single panel. You could let some length out of your tether and, and sit down into it. And I might like it a little bit lower underneath my butt, but it's, it's, comfortable, it's comfortable to sit in. You could sit in it and not even change it into a two panel. And that's why it's called the transformer because there's so many different things you can do with it. Now, I want to show you how to change it from single panel kind of mode to dual panel mode. I'm going to stand up and all you've got to do is basically take your both hands, you're going to put your thumb on the top of the lower panel and you're going to take your fingers and you're going to grab that webbing adjust and you're just going to push it up. You're going to do that on both sides. You just push down with your thumbs and you can adjust length out. Now, uh, you can take as much length out as you want. So now it's in two panel configuration and I want to show you there's a lot of different ways that you can run it in, in two panel configuration. A lot of guys like the latitude because you can run the top panel up into your back. Well you can easily do that with this saddle as well. Run the panel in your lower back, the second panel right underneath your butt. This is just phenomenal for leaning. You don't need a back band at all. This, this is extremely comfortable. And one of the neat things about the D-rings, and I, I mentioned earlier, we're gonna talk about their functionality. You can adjust the pressure between the top strap or the bottom strap just by moving the D-rings. So you can take the D-rings and push them toward the ground and you get more pressure underneath your butt. If you take them, pull them toward yourself, you get more pressure into your lower back. And if I move around, for the most part, that is going to stay right there. The pressure is going to stay in my lower back. If I want it more underneath my butt, I just push down and it, and it moves down into my butt. Works really good, really easy. You're not adjusting a, a rope up and down a bridge loop to make that happen. Just easy to do. That's one of the things I like about it. But for the most part, I like balanced pressure, so I like it right there in the middle. But you could lean like this all day long. You could also move the top panel a little bit lower and, and to the point where you're eventually sitting. So I'm gonna show you, show you that as well. If I take the top panel and I move it down just a little bit, I can get it 
so it's kind of coming up into my back, but where the bottom panel is still underneath my butt. And now I, I've got a, a good, comfortable leaning position, but my upper body is not as restricted as it would be when I had that panel up a little bit higher. Now, personally, I like to sit in this saddle. So let me show you that. If I take a little length out, I can sit just like this, might move the lower panel just a, a little bit lower. And you can see how easy that was to let extra length out. So now I can sit and I've got support into my lower back, but then I've got that second panel right underneath my butt. Some guys like to, to sit like this with the back support, really easy to do. And because the two panels are separated, you're not getting any hip pinch because they're not crossing over your bones at all. So that's really, really nice. My preferred way to sit though, is to, for the most part, sit on it like a swing at the park so that both panels are basically underneath my body. That way my upper body is not restricted at all and I'm free to move. So if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna lengthen the, the belt out a little bit. I'm gonna slide the top panel pretty low so that it comes down kind of underneath my, my butt. The second panel, I'm gonna nudge up right next to it. And in this case, you could tighten them down tight there. A little more length out of my tether there. And that to me is the ideal sitting and hunting position. I sit probably 80 to 90% of the time and I really only lean if I see an animal. And having the saddle pretty much completely under my butt like this makes a, it's just so comfortable. It's like sitting at the park, it's awesome. But now my upper body is not restricted at all and I can turn and contort and take shots all the way behind me very, very easily. But even sitting, you can adjust the pressure between the two panels. If I take these, push them like that, I, I notice more pressure right here now. If, if I sit like that for a while, and I'm starting to feel it, all I gotta do is grab them, pull them toward myself, evens it out a whole lot more. Pressure's evenly distributed. So guys, don't be afraid to play around with the D-rings. They make adjustments really, really quick and easy. And one of the things about saddle hunting and adjustments, you often don't have to make a big adjustment in order to make a big comfort difference. So just play around with stuff. But that's, that's how I would hunt for the most part. I, I love this saddle, guys. Really easy to, to change around and change configurations. Now, a lot of guys are gonna be concerned, well, how do I manage the two panels if I go to climb down? Are they a pain to get back you know, to where I started? I wanna show you that. So I just separated the panels quite a bit. All I'm gonna do, if I wanna climb down from the end of my hunt, I'm gonna pull some tether up, take the top panel, put it back up around my belt line, Tighten it down, gonna grab those straps, and I'm just gonna pull them. And it takes that bottom panel, pulls it up right back to where it started, and I'm done. I'm ready to go down the tree. It's that easy. Managing panels with this saddle is a dream. And just super easy to do. When you're leaning in it, you can see the leg straps are not in the way at all. They're really far below the D-rings, makes it super, super nice. You're not worried about noise. You could stealth strip them if you wanted to, but, but I think you can work around it. So I think this is a really great saddle. I'm going to climb down, give you some concluding thoughts, but I wanted to show you a little bit about how it works in the tree. And I hope that's helpful to give you an idea of how versatile this saddle really is. All right, saddle hunters, that is the Transformer from Overwatch Outdoors. Let me just give you a few concluding thoughts about it. I think this is a fantastic saddle. I think it's gonna fill a niche in the market. It has the comfort and the adjustability and the flexibility of a two panel, and yet it's easy to manage and easy to use like a single panel. As I've highlighted when I've reviewed other saddles, especially two panel saddles, some of them are suited more for guys who like to sit. Some of them work better for guys who like to lean. This is the first saddle that I've come across that really does both of those, in my opinion, extremely well. You can lean in it in a variety of different ways, but you can also sit in it very comfortably. So I think it's a great offering. 
Now, some guys aren't going to like the metal buckles. Some guys aren't going to like the D-rings, and that's, that's understandable. It just doesn't fit some guys' hunting preferences. But other than, th than that, and I think there's some advantages to those D-rings and to good buckles, uh, but other than that noise factor, I don't think there's a whole lot of downsides to this. It wears in extremely well, it's comfortable in the tree, and it's easy to use. It doesn't have the learning curve that some other two-panel saddles have. Well, thanks for taking the time to watch my review of the Transformal saddle from Overwatch Outdoors. If you want more information about this saddle or if you're interested in ordering it, you can go to overwatchoutdoors.net. Jamie's going to be building right now five to seven of them a week and placing them for sale on the website. And it's just a first come first serve deal. There's no pre-orders. There's no waiting list. So you jump on there and if there's a saddle available, you can order it. If you have any questions, you can contact him directly through that website or you can leave them below and I'll do my best to answer any questions about the saddle that I can. Thanks for watching, guys. I think this saddle is going to be a great addition to the market and really fill a niche that we have in our community. Appreciate you guys liking and subscribing the video. Stay tuned. We've got a bunch of content coming. Appreciate you watching.